but they're not bad. Perfect with beer, of course. But oh, I'm at work, so beer is not allowed. Welcome back once again to Rob's Homemade and Reviews outside the workplace. It's cold, it's damp, but it's sunshiny. Might not be getting too many reviews outside the workplace as winter is coming. It's going to get wetter, colder, and maybe snow. Who knows? Anyway, today, double snack time. Double, yes, I said double snack time i'm a bit behind on these because they've been out for a while but i've struggled to find them and i eventually found them believe it or not in an asian supermarket my god not in tesco not in asda but an asian supermarket anyway today we have walker's max fiercely flaming hot and hot sauce blaze these are the ones i was looking for I just fell across these, I didn't even know they existed. So, Walker's Mac Strong, perfect with beer, hot sauce blaze, and fiercely, fiercely flaming hot. We'll go fiercely flaming hot first. There's things about Mission Impossible on here. Right, let's just get straight into the ingredients. Fiercely flaming hot potato, ridged. You know we like a good ridge crisp here on Rob's Old Maid. Potatoes, vegetable oil, sunflower, rapeseed oil, fiercely flaming hot seasoning, contains salt, flavorings, whey powder, onion powder, paprika, citric acid, garlic powder, smoke powder, herb, lot, herb is laurel, color is paprika. There is no chili, no cayenne pepper. So what's gonna make these fiercely flaming hot? I have no idea. But we're gonna find out if they are or not. Once again, you can smell the tomato powder and the paprika, but that's about it. So let's have a go. Lovely little uh, ridge cut crisp. For the fiercely flaming hot first. Cheers, guys. Very tomato -y. You can't do a lick test on a rich cut crisp beaver because all the flavour is inside the groove so you wouldn't get any. Mm. I've got a bit of flavour. Definitely a good beer snack. I'd say that 100%. Flavour rating. Bang average 6. Nothing special. Definitely not fiercely flaming hot. Ah, a little disappointed in those. But. Heat rating. Considering, I don't know what's making them not hot, but a little tingle and a tang, as we say in this part of the world. Gotta get a 0.5. So, to the main event of the evening, or the afternoon. <laughs> One pound Max Strong Hot Sauce Blaze. Ingredients, hot sauce, flavoured which basically the same as the other ones potatoes vegetable oil sunflower oil hot sauce seasoning contains chili powder paprika onion powder so the only thing that's going to make these hot is chili powder and these look 
exactly the same as those. They smell a little different. It's some sort of hot sauce, but I can't put my finger on it. So I will get a couple with a bit of flavouring on once again. Well, well coated on one side of that one. But here goes for the hot sauce blaze. Those have got so much more flavouring than the fiercely flaming hot. Whoa, that one. Coating, no coating. Coating, no coating. Why coat a crisp on one side? Why? And that one has got hardly any. Walker's Max, come on, man. Get your coating done. Flavour rating. These are a lot better than the flaming hot ones. These are going to get a 7.5. because you've got a nice vinegary hot sauce flavour which is very similar to like the Frank's hot sauce it's got that sort of flavour to it so if you like that you're probably going to like these heat baiting these are actually hitting the back of the throat <clears throat> there's a bit more heat there than them flaming hot ones because they've just got that little tingle on the tip of the tongue and that's it. These have actually got a bit of burn to them. Keep waiting. I'll go up another half for these. These get a warm. Because there is a bit here on the back of the throat. And the flavour's not bad. I would just wish they'd coat them a lot more, or at least coat them on both sides. So, they get a 7 for flavour, no, 7.5 for flavour, sorry, and a 1 for heat. And the first be flaming hot, get a 0.5 for heat. And a 6 for flavour, because they're pretty bog standard. Not too bad, not great. Hot sauce blaze. Got a nice flavour to them. And they've got a bit of heat. Nothing too extreme. But they're not bad. Perfect with beer, of course. But oh, I'm at work, so beer's not allowed. So anyway, that was my review of Max Strong, fiercely flaming hot and hot sauce blaze. Just want to say thank you very much for watching smash that like button hit that subscribe button when you hit the subscribe button don't forget the notification bell click all <coughs> excuse me and you will get every single notification from me rob and rob's homemade so for me rob from walker's max two hot flavors one hot little hot one not so hot thank you very much peace